This is the last of three videos explaining the steps to take if you can't add your device in Biostar 1 or 2. Please watch our basic troubleshooting video before completing the steps in this one. This video covers adding version 1 devices. If you are using a version 2 device, please watch our video on version 2 devices. All Suprema readers are in DHCP mode out of the box. If your server and device are connected to the same switch, have the same subnet settings which they receive from your switch, and there are no firewalls or antivirus software blocking your connection, your new device will show up in Biostar. Ensure that your devices and or cables are not malfunctioning. If your device is not new, and none of the steps in the first video worked, you will want to manually reset it. Instructions on how to manually reset your device can be found in this installation guide under the Resetting Network Settings section. Once you reset your device, it will obtain a static IP of 192.168.0.1 and you will need to add it statically. First, connect your device to a laptop via Ethernet directly. On the laptop, search and select the control panel. Click Network and Internet. Click Network and Sharing Center, and then change adapter settings. Right click on the Ethernet or LAN adapter you are using and select Properties. Select Internet Protocol version 4, and then click Properties. Select Use the following IP address. For IP address, enter 192.168.0.10, 255.255.255.0 for subnet mask, and 192.168.0.1 for default gateway. Click OK. Click Close. To check that you can connect your device, hold Windows plus R, type CMD, and click OK. Type ARP minus A and hit enter. You will see an interface with an IP of 192.168.0.10. You should also see a device with an IP of 192.168.0.1 and a physical address starting with 00-17-FC. This is your device. If you don't see this, make sure that your device is cabled correctly to your switch and or laptop and that it has been reset. Once you have made sure that you can connect your device, you can configure it in Biostar. Run Biostar Server Config as an administrator. Start your server. The server IP should display as 192.168.0.10. If it doesn't, make sure your Wi-Fi and any other LAN adapters are turned off. Next, open the Biostar client. If you can't connect to the server, click Server Setting and enter the IP of the server. Click Save. Log in with your credentials. Click on the Device tab. Select Add Device in the Task pane. Make sure LAN is selected and click Next. Select TCP and enter the IP 192.168.0.1. Click Next. Once the search is complete, your device should appear. If it doesn't, click back and try again. Click Next. Select the box next to Device ID, click Add, and then Finish. Click on the Devices Network tab. If the switch your server is connected to is configured for DHCP, select the Use DHCP option. If your switch isn't configured for DHCP, turn off the DHCP setting. You have to enter an IP address that isn't being used in your network, as well as the correct subnet and gateway for your main Biostar server. Next, select Use next to Server and enter the IP address and port of your Biostar server. Click Apply. Now, when you connect your device to your switch, clicking the Refresh button in Biostar on your server should allow the device to appear if it hasn't already.